Hello everybody, welcome back to Rick Tick Gaming in another episode of Saints Row 4. Um let's fucking jump. I've just been doing a couple of side missions on my own time. So the AI won't help me break into other simulations unless he gets Watch a body. This. So how do we get him one, Kenzie? Oh fuck, I can't do almost one everything in the simulation locked tight, but there is something you can use. A control and interface device. Okay, great. Where do I find one? You're in luck. The Zen have a bunch in transit right now. So yeah, yeah, I unlocked the ability to run up walls. I'm gonna fight the urge to collect those things right now. You're welcome. And I increased the height of my jump. You didn't miss a whole bunch. There was a. Yo, I. Fuck, what was it? Um, I'm trying to think of the word. Ooh, what look at you. You're one of those golden snitch looking motherfuckers. You will not be able to catch me. Your attempted slash will be Whoa. Damning is so expensive. Alright. Boom. CIDs to bring a downed hotspot online. Once you have a CID from them, get it to a safe spot and wipe its old programming so the AI can upload its personality into the new shell. Okay. Didn't used to be this bad. Go back to that first hotspot you took down. You can get a CID there. Simple smash and grab, huh? Sure. Go with that. Just get one and take it to a safe spot. You don't want to deal with Zin while trying to hack that device. Yeah! Alright. I'm curious, is there any way to get this AI a body in the real world too? At this point, the AI is purely information. He's entirely digital. You could download him to your phone if you wanted. Why? Does he want a body? Would you want to be stuck inside the simulation forever? Good point. I'll check the ship for a suitable shell just in case. Yeah, bitch. Jump. Ugh, so many data clusters. Ass. Along with the CIDs, the Zen are transporting a prototype for a contained forced recursive feedback projector. Kenzie, that sounds like complete bullshit, even coming from you. <sighs> Imagine a gun that fires a bullet that bounces from one target to another to another to another like a pinball racking up a billion points. Oh. Let's check that shit out. Oh, it must have glitched. Be careful not to damage all the CIDs. I don't know when or if we'll get another chance to get one of these. Yeah, 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 Kenzie, I got this. Fucking motherfucker. I'm not a huge fan of this gun right now. It's kind of shit. But we'll use it for now. Which CID should I grab? It doesn't matter. Just pick one. Oh, this one. What did you do? I touched it. Well, touch it different next time. Let's touch this one. What the hell, Kenzie? Don't pin this on me. These things are broken. Well, fuck. Don't you blow up on me? Yeah, boy. Yes. Finally, quick, get to a safe spot so you can crack it open. Mm, jump. How far away do I need to be? Just away from the Zen. Pick some place they won't find you. How long is this whole thing gonna take? I won't know until I crack open the device and see how it ticks. And jump. Alright, this spot looks good. Keep an eye out while I work on it. Oh, fuck. 
We're, I don't like that they took Again, away my he alien doesn't have gun. a way of finding these devices remotely. Shit, they found us. Don't let them take the CID. Work fast. Where are they? That's why I get paid the big bucks. All right, where the fuck are they all? Motherfuckers, come out. Still alive. I'm gonna definitely fucking die here. Can't see where we are. Almost done. Almost done. I'm gonna fucking die. Come on. Hold on. There. I'm just that good. Really close to death here, and I just like a little that. bit more. Okay, the CID is cracked and clear for uploading. In putting the AI code now. Great. How long until the upload is complete? Fifty-five minutes. F Fifty-five minutes? These things usually take like three to five tops. Look, the connection in this area is slow. Get closer to a major connection point like a power plant, and this might go faster. Why didn't we go there first? Because a major connection point for the simulation is going to be heavily guarded. We'll sit down, look faster? Well, probably, but... And we're taking this thing there. Power source. Once Sid's up and running, how long until we can use him to get my crew? Well, assuming the AI wasn't lying, I don't see a reason why we shouldn't be able to get right to it. Speaking of which, who do you want to grab first? Pierce? Jondi? I, uh... I think we should get Matt. Miller? Oh my god, why? Hey, Matt turned himself around after Steelport. He joined at my 6 helped us with Cyrus Temple, and... You know, he's... Useful. Ish. Useful? You have a lot on your plate, Kinsey, with all this cyber what's it. Figured you could use the help. I'm doing just fine without Matt Miller. Thank you. Two heads are better than one, Kinsey. Set it up. Ooh, another one. I'm here. I just need to clear these Zen out first. Doesn't have a chance. Let's use this shit. Done. Excellent. How long now? <laughs> uh, Kenzie? That's just. Part of the process. Apparently the sweary part of the process. Full download should only take about 16 minutes. Is there anything you can do to make it go faster? I'll see what I can find. There might be additional access points we can use to increase the bandwidth. this right now like a lot testicular manslaughter hell yeah I 
worry, everyone loses to me. What the fuck? Oh, Personality shit. Personality transfer at 31%. I found an access point that can help speed this along. Get to it and activate it. Come on. Found it. All right. And it's on. There's a second access point out further. You know, I remember losing like, at this level a few times the first time around when I played it. Maybe I'm just a lot better now than I was. I have no idea. Bitch. Doesn't anyone learn? Yeah, I'm gonna be using that blast thing a lot. I should probably upgrade the shit out of that recovery time. I'm at the second one. All right, both the access points are online. How's the download looking? Much faster. Much, much too fast. Too fast. Sid is overloading. Overloading? Overheating. Get to him and cool him down. Where the fuck is he? to throttle the connection a bit so it should be much more stable now how long until the download's done three minutes good all right let me just fucking just do this quick and i can't do that yet that's a good one to have all right that's literally everything we can do with that one for now Murder bots come from murder bots? Oh wow. Yeah, I'm having a bit of a stronger reaction. Fuck. Instead. Do you really want to give some rogue AI an exoskeleton equipped with a complement of Come weapons on. and a history Come of on. violence? Probably not. Besides, I already found a real CID body for him on the ship. So, you know, synchronicity. Oh, thank Christ, I thought I missed. Alright, we're gonna also just check a quick upgrade. We're gonna upgrade the health as much as we fucking can. Which apparently isn't fucking much. Oh my god, why does this hurt so much? What is it gonna hurt? Personality oh, transfer at 74%. Yeah. Data bottleneck encountered.
baskets full of stars. Fucking shield. Oh no, I'm still killing now. Download complete. All right, time to kill us some aliens. Oh God, I'm gonna regret getting Sid a real body, aren't I? Oh Sid, you're gonna get along famously. Shit, this is great. Uh. Kenzie? Take Fuck. him down and I should be able to transfer some of his powers to you. Fuck, I hit the wrong button. Shit. Kid me, I hit the button to fucking freeze him. Motherfucker. You're being really fucking annoying right now, and I'm getting tired of it. God, I fucking hate this bounce rifle thing. God damn, this thing's really fucking pissing me off. God, this is really fucking pissing me off. See what we got. You are best. Fucking tired. Whoa, whoa, this is. Why is my brain on fire? Tell, tell, Welcome on to fire. being able to move things with your mind. Uh, where's the practice round? Oh, there it is. Silly David. Oh, 
Oh, that's gonna There's be useful. There's a giant glass orb here, Kinsey. Yeah. It has more clusters in it. Pick it up with your mind and smash it open. Okay, now use that power to throw things at the warden and take down his shields. I'm sure you'll have plenty of chances to use it. I really fucking hate fighting those things. They're a real pain in my cock. <coughs> Fuck the bounce rifle. Uh, how the saints save Christmas. Funny. Um, I think I'm gonna check out the spaceship for a second. Oh, why the fuck not? Let's, or let's see what the next mission is. Go to training program. Mind over murder. Wonder what that has to do with anything. Oh, quick thing. Let's see if we can upgrade that fucking power right away. Damn it. Ooh, cash. <coughs> Bless you, David. Thank you, David. Wait, mind over murder. I remember what that is, I think. And if it is, you guys are going to love the fuck out of this. Absolutely love the fuck Welcome out of it. Mind over murder. Yep. The rules are simple. Each scoring area contains a variety of floating rings. The color of the ring denotes the type of object you need to throw it through in order to score a point. Vehicles go through blue, people through green, and the head of our very own Professor Genki through the pink ones. Score a point on every hoop within the time limit, and you win. Good luck! It's murder time, fun time! Mr. Genkies, those are like the ones from Saints Row 3 are the best. Now, let's see. Welcome to Professor Genki's Mind Over Murder! Brought to you in part by everybody's favorite alien overlord, Shinyak! That's right, folks. The Maven of Mascot Mayhem has teamed up with the Conqueror of countless galaxies to create an all-new Genki experience. As folks at home know, by exploiting weaknesses in Zinyak's meticulously crafted simulation, our contestant has gained the power of telekinesis. But they will have to master the power of the mind to complete the challenges ahead of them today. I can now see why the professor was so eager to join forces with Zinyak. This should make for an interesting addition to the Genki family of games. Right you are, Bobby. So let's meet our contestant. Fuck. The winner of Genki Bowl 7. And our yep. favorite contestant, the President of the United States. Or whatever bits are still floating around in space, right, Zach? <laughs> Too soon, Bobby. Too um, soon. Let's get to the fuck? action. There you are. So, Bobby, how do you think the addition of superpowers is going to affect the game? A submachine gun is a fine weapon, but nothing, nothing compares to the unlocked potential of the human animal. Super speed, super jump, and moving things around with the power of your mind? I'm expecting high action and lots of flailing bodies. 
Makes you wish you had superpowers, doesn't it, Bobby? I'm just happy not to be stuck in a vat full of foul-smelling nutrient milk, reliving my worst fears for all of eternity. <laughs> you and me both, Bobby. You Jeez. and me both. Can you imagine Genki and Zinyak flying across the galaxy together? Come and that's it for our Damn first it, match. I almost beat Excellent the job, time limit. Our contestant. Oh well, still had a good time. Uh, oh, the one in Saints Row 3 was called Super Gen Mr. Genki's Super Ethical Reality Climax. It was so fucking funny to play. You just all you're doing is like you're on a game show murdering people. Always fun stuff. All right, what's next in that fucking shit? No. All right, so that shit's done. Um. All right, since I guess I'm doing this by each chapter, like with each pr different primary quest. So, that's how we're going to end it today. Well, let's check for upgrades quick. Except... Um... 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 No, fuck it. Like I said, vehicles in this game are pretty much garbage. Because, like, it's, you don't use vehicles because you have super speed and shit. I guess there's nothing else going on. Yeah, that's good. I want more money. Gotcha. We're good there. All right, folks. I've been David Ricktick of Ricktick Gaming. This has been Saints Row 4, and I'll see you in the next episode. Yeah.